I knew it. I swear I knew there is a reason for our leader's actions. It's as if the Imam was right here with us and knew we were in danger. That's why he sent that first letter. To get rid of the danger. And the second time, he's been gracious. And just like a true great man, tried to win over this poor man's heart. Tell me, how did the Imam know you're in danger from such a distance? The knowledge of the Imam is much more than what we can understand. Thank God the danger has gone. But believe me, Zahari, I don't have anywhere left in Kufa, nothing at all to hide you. <laughs> 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 yes, I think we have to leave again. It might be best if I go to Medina too, especially since I have new doubts about a number of the hadiths that I have written down. I seriously have doubts. I need to ask the Imam and find out whether they are correct or not. That's wonderful. We will all see our master again together. Now that we're going to Medina, we do best to go separate ways and choose different directions. Yes, that way we will be in less danger. God willing, we see each other in Medina. God willing, God willing. Medina to the Imam. God willing. Momen. Thanks, son. You really helped us a great deal. Me? I didn't do anything. You did, son. You did something great. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Jabber. When will you set off? someone in this desert who could I be expecting I don't know maybe bandits oh I assure you that this caravan is nothing to tempt any bandits Zerari is going to Medina too. Well, didn't they say he was a traitor? I wonder if it could possibly be that that bandit saved Zerari's life with a trick. God help you, Zabir, if you've tricked me. God help you indeed. Hey!
God bless my master. What you were thinking has happened, and things are going exactly the way you wanted them to. Tell me about the new news. Master, I have never had better news in my life. It's really exciting, master. You mean it? Hurry up already, spit it out. Chaber, Chaber, son of Ayan has been caught in one of your traps. Are you sure about that? Zopair and Ama have brought Chaber here in chains just for you, my master. I miss them so much. Tell them to bring him here immediately. Greetings to the great, to the great governor, governor of Basra. Of Basra. You see, Jabber, son of Hayam, if you, my friend, had turned into a bird and flown, you couldn't, even if you tried, escape my eagle eyes. <laughs> Bravo, Jabber. Bravo, Amel. You will be greatly rewarded. Judge! Yes, Master. Finish where we left off. Issue the verdict, if you please. Yes, Master. You... You are accused... <laughs> of performing black magic. <laughs> Denying the one and only God and tainting wisdom and knowledge and science based on Islam's Sharia law, you are guilty. Behead him. Carry out the ruling right now. <laughs> <laughs> no! at this time of night. Yes. I'm careful not to let the fire die down. I didn't think that you cared about others. If that was so, I wouldn't be with you then, would I? You're right. You don't belong here. But why have you stayed, God only knows. Maybe you're worried about us. Or maybe you're waiting for an opportunity to... Damn me. Damn me for getting myself in this situation because of you. What situation? This situation. This. Wandering the deserts like a hungry dog. Being an unpaid servant for Jaber. I have to be careful that Caliph's men don't get to him. And for what? Nothing! I wish I could. I wish I could. It's still not late. You know that you can go back and stop caravans again. 
You can go back to being the bandit you once were in the deserts. What do you know, Zulfa? What? Being a bandit or accompanying you, none of it's from the heart. All of it's for... All of it is for you. It's true. All of it is for you. You want to go back? I want to check the surroundings. I don't want to be taken by surprise by the Caliph's men or bandits. Tired, Shocky. Yes, Master. I have a question to ask. Go ahead. If you want to reach your goal, then what do you do? Well, it depends on the goal and its value to you. I can assure you that it's for the good. Look, Sober, I don't know what you're thinking about, but I know your answer. Let me be clear. To reach your goal, you shouldn't do whatever you want. Your goal might be for the good, but the path you're taking towards your goal might be wrong. Having a good aim doesn't justify you doing something wrong. Do you understand? I really want to, but I don't. Look, do you think that helping the poor and helpless is a good goal? Well, of course, it's good. I've done that many times myself. How? Well, when I was a bandit, I would help the poor. I'd help them with what we'd get from the caravans. Well, do you think that God considers what you did a blessing? I don't know. All I know is that God rewards you ten times for the good that you do in your life. <laughs> that is true. Well, then, I did something good. My blessing should be... Ten to one, helping the poor, in return for stealing. <laughs> and you must have great rewards awaiting you in the afterlife, right? I don't know. Maybe. This is your mistake, Sober. The things you gave to the poor didn't belong to you. They belonged to someone else. And so you will not reap the benefit of giving them to the poor. And in return, you will be accused of stealing. This is the same thing you asked. Helping the poor is a good deed you did through the wrong path, and God will not accept that. It is only the right path that can lead you in the right direction. Do you understand? If you're ready, let's go. Let's go. Let's go!
Things in Medina are harder than in Kufa. The Caliph's men are doing whatever they can to prevent the people from seeing their Imam. We have to get back to the city as soon as we possibly can, and go back to the caravansary at once. Forget about the caravansary. We'll go to Abba Basir's house. It's safe there. Abba Basir himself is the best person to help us see the Imam. Entering the city and staying there is not right. The spies might inform the soldiers about us. I have seen the situation elsewhere. I can guess how things are in Medina. It's best that we stay right here. Do you perhaps know something that we don't? No. I... I assure you that I was with you all this time. What on earth would I know about? I agree with Zobert. Going to the city with so many spies isn't right at all, especially that we look like visitors. Staying here near Medina is safer, much safer. that will make my dreams come true. And instead of selling fabrics in the Kufa Bazaar, I'll be heading caravans to faraway places all over the world. Onward, Amir. Hurry up. Hey! He's a servant of the Imam. He knows how things are in the city best. Yes, he knows how we can go and see our Imam and not attract the attention of enemies. Harun, the same man from Mecca who went in the furnace at the command of the Imam. The furnace of fire? Why did he do that? It's a long story. All I want to know, how could someone enter a furnace of his own will? A while back, a group of men from Khorasan went to see the Imam and asked him to rebel. The Imam asked, if I do such a thing, will you help me? They answered they would do whatever the Imam said. The furnace was on the fire, burning. The Imam wanted to. You test the men from Khorasan. He told their elder to go into the fire. The man was surprised at the Imam's command and said, we said, we would support you. Why should go into the flames be your response to such a thing? That's when the Imam said to Harun, Go inside the furnace. He went in without giving it a second thought. The Imam told them that from among the people of Khorasan, how many will do what I want from them without anyone asking a question or without any hesitation. They said no one, not even one person. Not one person. No one else would have done that. What about Harun? Did he burn in the flames? When the Imam finished speaking to the men, he called him out. And he came out of the furnace Completely unharmed. He was unharmed, he was. Completely unharmed. You mean he didn't ask anything before going in? He had faith in what the Imam was saying, so there was... There was no need to ask.
What are you thinking about, Sober? I don't believe it. How could someone go inside a furnace on another's orders and then greet his death? This is the way of love. A true lover doesn't hesitate and ask questions. He only waits to hear and must obey. That is love, brother. I told you I don't understand you. It is because of these things. You fall in love to be with someone, not to lose your life before it. Didn't you yourself say that you were ready to die for Envan's daughter? Yes, but there was a lot of difference between words and action. I don't know whether I will really give my life for Zolfa when it comes to action. You still don't have faith in your love, Zobair. If you did, you wouldn't waste a second to sacrifice yourself. Goodness, they're finally here. been staring at the desert since yesterday morning. I didn't want you to enter the city without me seeing you. What has happened in the city? The soldiers of the governor of Medina are guarding the streets like wild dogs. The governor's given orders that none of the imam's friends and followers can visit him. Medina has turned into a huge prison. They interrogate any passerby who walks into the Bani Hashem neighborhood. What shall we do? Come to my house. It's not comfortable, but the good thing is that it's very safe. No one will suspect anything. Fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's go. It's all right. I'll go walk in the alleys a bit. Right. I want to know about the city. We don't have much to eat. Think of buying some goods, would you? Sure. You know... I do. I have to pay for what I take. I know this. <laughs> Goodbye. God be with you. Let's go this way, Jabba. It's here. Why won't he open? No one is home. Where could they have gone to? I don't know. Abu Bazir is on a trip. 
We shouldn't stay here. Let's, Let's go. go. Watermelon sweet, sweet brother. as honey. Well, hello. I was waiting for you at Medina Caravansera. Zabir, welcome to you. Welcome to Medina. But where are the rest of them? Sobir, listen to what I'm saying. We're close to our goal now. Tell me why are you ruining everything? I wanted to come to the caravansary. I have new things to tell you. <laughs> I knew it. I knew from the start that you were an opportunist and far too smart than to let everything slip away from you all at once. If that's so, then listen to me. I have nothing to do with you or that greedy governor in Basra, so get lost. I said get lost. Oh, so you're getting anxious again, are you? Doubt has overcome you. But think of the reward, Zabir. I will do what is right. That is how I will reach a conclusion. Very well, then. Let us continue on our own ways. And what way is that? I was lost from the very beginning. So your love for that girl has quite done for you. You've lost your mind completely. I thought I told you never to speak of her with your filthy mouth. All right. Fine. You're right. Or am I wrong to worry about your father and brothers? From now on, you only think of yourself, because I am not with you. I am against you for as long as I live. I will protect my friends, okay? So it's best if I don't see you again. Get it? What do you want? Very well. Very well. I'll go. All Envan needs to know is what a viper he had in his bosom. If he finds out that you and I were with each other all along, and you were informing the governor of Basra about the companions of Jafar ibn Muhammad, do you know what will happen? I said get lost. <laughs> for that now, Zabir. Far too late. It's strange, Envan. The people here look at each other so suspiciously. What do you mean? Not much left. What do you want? 
It's me, Envan, Jabba, Jabba son of Hayan. We've come to see our leader, Jafar ibn Muhammad. My master doesn't know you. I knew Jafar ibn Muhammad can't solve our problem. I told you. Go away. We are staying just outside of the city, in a house. Do what I said, gentlemen. Go. Leave and stop disturbing us. I will inform you. Go on, gentlemen. Go, go. Don't disturb us. Go. Go. Excuse me there, do you know where we can solve our problem? That doesn't concern us at all. Leave this place immediately and don't come back. If you come to this alley one more time, know that you'll get into trouble. What are you waiting for? Go, didn't I say it? Go on! Leave here now! Go! Very well, go we'll on. go. Soldier, take them! Go, come on, get going. Yes, sir. Too many people are coming and going. Watch them. Yes, sir. God help this city. What has happened to Medina? What has happened to the people here? Isn't this the city of our prophet? The place where my leader Jafan ibn Muhammad would hold sermons a while ago? Thousands would come, crab next to each other to hear him speak. The Abbasids have made things so hard for the people that they can't even see their leader. God, who can we complain to? Oh, people, why did you leave your leader alone? Isn't this the city of the Prophet? Why did you leave our Imam alone? You backstabbers! Damn you! Why would you do this to a member of the Prophet's family? Why? Why would you do this?